Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Time to cook a real fast and furious meal. We're hungry. I've been out and about today, so we're going to do a quick meal. We're going to do a homestyle meatball and onion gravy today. Trying to watch the news, keep up with on the latest happenings. We've been having a few things going on. I haven't watched the news at all today, so sorry about that little glitch there. Anywho, we're going to do some home style casa meatballs. I'm going to make them um, just as if you would do uh, any other type of meatballs. These are already cooked, so they're not going to take long. That's why I said this meal is going to be fast and furious. But before I get the meatballs going, since I got my water boiling on the back burner back here, let's go ahead and get this rice done. I'm going to do some seasoned um, rice. I'm going to do a cup and a half of rice. It's a cup. And of course, my phone will start ringing as soon as I uh, start doing anything. So anyway, a cup and a half of rice. And I'm going to season it up with a little bit of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon teaspoon of complete seasoning and y'all know let me just answer my phone excuse me one sec okay y'all i'm back i've had to answer i knew i know when the phone rings a certain way i know it's when one it's when it's one of my youngins so i have to always check to make sure okay so this is uh two cups of water or two and a half cups of water y'all and a cup and a half of jasmine rice teaspoon of complete seasoning, two teaspoon of adobo seasoning, um, and I'm gonna see got and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a uh, fourth a stick of butter. So I got it all boiled up here. I'm getting ready to turn it down, down on low, low heat so that I can cover it and just let it cook and it'll be ready. And we'll have some good old seasoned rice to go with our um, veggies. There and that one goes back there. So our rice is on its way to be done. Remember, we cooking rice twice as much water as you do rice. I put a little bit less because I know how to turn mine on off at the right time. It's just a matter of judgment. Okay, so now in this pot, I've got um, half a cup of, uh, I'm sorry, not a half, but a fourth of a cup of olive oil and a fourth of a stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting some veggies in here. And what I'm going to do mainly is to get them, I'm not going to put any water in them. I'm going to let the juices from the veggies cook them along with the butter. Okay, that just makes for better flavor. So we're going to get these veggies going. And remember you have to stir that rice too so it won't stick. So I need to stir them out a little bit here. This is one of those fast and furious dishes. And that water was going to see I stirred it just in time. So I say when you when you're cooking, you have to be aware of what's going on on the stove. So I had to add a little bit more water because remember I only did two and a half cups. But when it's boiling real fast, that water will cook out right quick and it did. So I need some more water. But just do as rule of thumb when you're doing your rice, twice as much water as you do rice. And it will, you won't miss it. Okay, so I've got my uh, butter going, and I'm gonna put this consists of cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. So I'm just gonna start dropping in the big pieces. I'll put them up in the room just like so. Okay, I think this bag here is a two pound bag. So I'm just gonna put a pound of that and I've got some leftover frozen green beans I'm gonna drop them right on in there on top of it so this is rock cauliflower green beans and carrot and this stir fry okay I'm not gonna put any water in it just a cup of those I need to just cut like that to it right in the pot like I say this is one of them fast and furious I got something else to do meal so we're going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, adobo seasoning. No, yeah, yeah, this adobo. Half a teaspoon of adobo seasoning in there. 
a teaspoon of complete seasoning. Oh, that's coming out real sprawly, spurly. Okay, that's about a teaspoon right there. And give me a half a teaspoon of, and you got this heat on high as well. You got to keep that heat up high on this one. Because we don't want it to boil. We want it to like sort of steam a little bit. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I need some garlic powder. There's my garlic powder. Okay. Garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now. Get everything mixed up in there. And y'all know I'm going to put some onion up in there. Ooh, that's a big chunky one. I didn't see that one. Yeah. And just take your knife. If you get the big ones in there, just take your knife and run down through them. Just cut them in half. You don't want them too chunky. Okay. And because this is just cooking with the butter, I'm just going to slice a half of a medium onion in there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And this will cook down real fast, y'all. Okay, we're just going to let it cook. Pretty much like I did the green beans the other day. You don't put any um, water in this. You just cook it, let it cook down on its own. With its own juices. And that all the flavor is in there. All those good flavors are in there. Okay. Alrighty then. I got some mushrooms. I know I'm going to put mushrooms in my meatballs. You get me a, need to clean up over here on the stove, y'all. Okay, that rice is coming along fine. Hope y'all are having a God bless Wednesday afternoon. Hope the weather is good wherever you are. I haven't heard of any real extreme weather. I haven't looked at TV at all much today. But um, we're praying that the weather has calmed down. Uh, we know this is uh, tornado season anyway. So we're praying that everybody doing well and that those people who are still recovering we're yet praying for you that you will continue to recover over in the Bahamas we haven't forgotten you we're yet praying y'all yet praying okay. so my veggies are cooking my rice is cooking now I'm gonna go ahead and get those meatballs uh, going so what I've done over here I got my skillet on and I've got um Let's see, let me get the camera over here for you. Okay, get it coming right about, yeah, ooh, perfecto. Perfecto. So, we're gonna go ahead and drop some onions in here. Cause we're gonna make somewhat of a gravy. Okay, um, I've got everything going here my meatballs in that pan with the mushrooms and the sliced onions as you can see and because uh, I need some juice in there I'm going to go ahead and cover it okay and let that continue to cook while everything else cooks um now okay my veggies are still on medium high and I'm going to leave them right there until they all cook into this juice and then we'll give it a taste and make sure as to what so the meatballs are cooking along pretty good. We're gonna let them cook on medium high heat. Okay, and I can start doing my cleanup and I'm gonna come back and make a brothy gravy, some of a brothy gravy uh, for that. Not a thick, thick gravy, so to speak, but I'll, I'll figure it out, but I'll come back and let you know. So we got the rice, we got the veggies, and we got the meatballs with the mushrooms. So this is gonna be a mm -mm good, real quick, I'll say a 30 minute meal is what we got going hey y'all this is what the meatballs look like at this point now i told you i was going to make some kind of a gravy a brothy gravy but what these meatballs have done for me okay y'all we're back these meatballs have cooked to perfection i did not have to uh, make any type of gravy they make their own gravy as i was saying i thought they would but i wasn't sure because i've not uh, used them like this before but these meatballs made their very own gravy as you can see I just what I did I just put those mushrooms in cut some onions in there and I had that olive oil 
and I put them on on high heat, covered them, and just let them cook in their own juices. Didn't add anything else liquidy to them. So they've got enough broth on them. And of course, you know that olive oil is in there. And that's going to be good over that rice. And I slightly uh, seasoned, or lightly rather, slightly lightly seasoned. See that? Okay, they made their own little broth, and that's what I was wanting. That's what I meant by a brothy gravy. I was not making any uh, extra thick gravy to go over because they're good just like they are, and we're trying to stay healthy, y'all. So there's that steamed, lightly seasoned rice, and the veggies have all cooked down. They are ready. I tell you what, this is a 30-minute meal, y'all, because you don't have to cook it. Once you got it on the stove, because there's virtually no prep because the veggies were already cut. The rice, of course, you know how to cook rice. Rice cooks in about 20 minutes. So inside of 30 minutes, we got a good, tasty, healthy meal. And when I tell you tasty, it's tasty. So if you want to get in the kitchen and just look at this right now, it's early in the day. I'm going to go ahead and upload it right now. Go ahead and do it. And you can have this meal on the table inside of 30 minutes, y'all. Okay, so thank y'all as usual for tuning in, for watching me. Um, I hope y'all had a great weekend. Didn't talk to you a whole lot. But uh, we're still prayerful, as I'm saying, for those who went through uh, the Hurricane uh, Dorian. And we're yet praying for those who had a hard time going through, trying to recover. And uh, for those who are still going through the bereavement, loss of loved ones, uh, uh, loss of life, limb, and possessions. We are with you wherever you are throughout the country. Um whatever your devastation that you're having to overcome also uh our hearts and minds and spirits and all of our prayers especially go out to uh the uh remembrance of those who went through the 9-11 for those of you who lost loved ones and friends that you're still going through that this is a remembrance time and prayerfully you all have great memories for those that you lost so we continue to pray for you on this day as always and you know if you know someone that went through it if they're living alone reach out to them or if you know anybody in bereavement at all just reach out to them and give them a kind word uh, to try to help them through it. and just remind them that weeping may do for a night but joy does come in the morning so uh help them to find their in the morning so that the uh the hurt and the devastation will soon go away and we know it comes back time after time but we have to remember that god is in control and that he loves us all and he commanded that we love one another as he has loved us and have no god before him so if we do those two things we can stay on top of things pretty much and we can be a great help to one another so i love y'all thank you for your continued prayers thank you for all of your words of encouragement as I try to speak encouragement to you, when you give it back to me, that helps me to continue on. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little quick meal that I just put together. I tell you what, Kareem and I get ready to enjoy it. So uh, until I decide to cook again, I love you guys. Um, keep those prayers going up, certainly, uh, so that the blessings will continue to come down. And until I decide to cook again, y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. And remember to subscribe, to give us the views and the thumbs up as we continue. Now, y'all know we're headed toward 22,000. We're almost there, guys. So thank y'all again for supporting and propelling my channel forward. And I do what I do because I love you so much. Okay, until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Toodaloo!